Here are six ways to improve your aim, presented by Fortnite Master. In this video, we'll be going over some tips for controlling bloom and hitting shotgun shots in close quarter combat, while explaining aiming techniques like tracking and flicking. Before we delve into things like bloom, close quarter combat, and aiming techniques, it's important to know the two different types of weapon mechanics in Fortnite, hitscan, and projectile based. Other than snipers and explosives, every weapon in Fortnite uses hitscan mechanics. Hitscan means the bullets don't have any travel time. As soon as you click, the bullet will immediately hit the target in your crosshair, regardless of distance, so long as the shot is accurate. Snipers are a little different in the sense that they shoot physical projectiles. This means you have to take into account travel time and bullet drop. Check out our sniper guide for specific tips on dealing with these mechanics. The number one mistake every single shooter newbie makes is that they fire before they aim. All too often, you will see players start spraying the second they see someone on their screen, and they miss all of their bullets because they lost focus on aiming. Force yourself to aim before you shoot. It sounds cheesy, but actively remembering to move your crosshair on top of your target before clicking will go a very long way in increasing the amount of shots you hit. Now. Let's take a look at the bloom mechanic, which affects weapons like assault rifles, SMGs, pistols, LMGs, miniguns, and hunting rifles. Bloom causes bullets to fly in a randomly generated spread within your crosshair. Certain weapons like the thermal assault rifle and the scoped assault rifle are unaffected by bloom. For these two weapons, as long as your crosshair is on the enemy when you fire, your bullet will hit. The majority of weapons in Fortnite have bloom, which has become one of the most notorious mechanics in the game. As a result, a huge part of aiming better is learning how to control and minimize bloom. Minimizing bloom is all about controlling your crosshair size. The smaller the crosshair, the smaller the potential area for bullet spread. Spraying non-stop will increase the size of your crosshair a lot more than a controlled tap firing. Crouching and staying still will noticeably reduce your crosshair size, minimizing bloom the most, while standing and running will make your crosshair much larger, giving your bullets a huge area to randomly spread throughout. First shot accuracy is the go-to option to help counteract bloom. If you wait for a second when aiming down sights with pistols, ARs, or LMGs, your first shot becomes 100% accurate. The downside is that the 100% accuracy only counts for the first shot unless you wait for it to reset, and waiting for it to reset isn't always viable if you're in a fight with enemies. Another great option which is just a step down from first shot accuracy is controlled fire. This is the middle ground between first shot accuracy and the full on spray, and it's useful in a lot of situations. Typically, controlled fire is the most useful at mid range. Sometimes the best option is just to hold down the trigger and spray to your heart's content. If the enemy is close enough, the extra damage output of a full spray can be very worth it. Tracking is an aiming technique that refers to keeping your crosshairs on a moving target. It's a huge part of aiming with weapons like ARs and SMGs. Being able to accurately track enemies with your crosshairs will drastically increase the amount of shots you hit. When tracking an opponent, really focus on trying to keep your crosshair centered on the enemy at all times. It's easy to get distracted by any number of things while fighting, so try to maintain as much focus as possible on crosshair placement. On PC, lowering your sensitivity can help a ton with successfully tracking moving opponents. A cool way to practice this is in playground with some bouncers and an ATK. Using your movement to help you aim can be an effective solution for making slight adjustments to aim. When aiming down sights, try strafing to help move your crosshair side to side. When you are running around corners and fighting in close quarters, it's helpful to keep your crosshairs at eye level. This way, if you run into an opponent or hear one coming your way, you will be ready to shoot them in the head immediately. Another tip is to line up your crosshair as best as possible when behind cover. That way, when you peek, your crosshair is already on them or very close. Hitting close range shotgun shots is a challenge because it can be hard to track your opponent and hit your shots when you're both running, jumping, and building. There are a couple of ways to help aim in close quarter shotgun battles, namely using movement to help aim and working on flick shots. When jumping through the air, it can be awkward adjusting your aim vertically, so try relying more on your movement and wait until your crosshair drops onto the opponent.
Sometimes quick flicks are your only opportunity to hit good players who rarely leave themselves vulnerable to shots. Farming materials provides a great opportunity to practice your flick accuracy and make destroying trees a little more engaging. Pick a spot to hold your crosshair and flick to the circle right when your pickaxe is about to hit every time. If you're really serious about improving your aim, there are games that can help you train in a controlled environment. Aim Booster is a great free option that runs out of your browser. There are more intensive simulators that are available, but you'll have to buy them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to get notified whenever we upload a video onto our channel. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.